their aircraft and aircraft museums. If you remember, two years ago we were at RF Cosford, the museum there. Uh, Finningley has got an air, uh, aircraft connection as well. And this year um, we're here at the Coventry Air Museum, which I don't know if you've had a chance to look around, but it's, uh, it's quite an interesting thing. And there's a, a real opportunity that you won't get anywhere else, which is to go and sit in, sit in the, uh, the Vulcan. So it's tucked up round at the far end of the site, well worth doing. Um, don't know if many of you know Kieran, M0XTD, but he was the guy, he's local here, and he found it and suggested we could come here. And so, uh, credit to Kieran, that's uh, excellent. Um, if you could put your mobiles on silent, we, you know, it, uh, it just has occurred to see really to the speakers. And uh, we're recording and streaming it, so when there's any Q&A, please um, wait for the stick mic, if it still works, to come to you. Um, so we've got this afternoon, talks programme, and then tomorrow afternoon, we've got the BGM, everybody's welcome. Um, we will on only members can vote at that though, but um, you're more than welcome to sit in, even if you're not a member. Uh, fire exits as marked, so uh, just the one door here. The hangar space, if you haven't discovered, is down the bottom of the site, and there's bring and buy, demo, show and tell. Uh, Dave's running the Portsdown Clinic. Um, and the BATC shop, which is here, will be open uh, for any bits at special prices. When we say special, it's basically no PayPal charges and no postage, so you're getting the benefit of the fact that we're not paying any any charges. Um, and feel free to visit the museum and spend money in their shop, but only after you've visited our shop. <laughs> and whilst I'm saying welcome, um, there is one particular member, I don't know if John's, John's here? John, John Lawrence? Hello, yeah, John Lawrence, I, I, think, I think it's worthy of a, yeah. a, a big welcome to John as he had a very big birthday two, uh, two weeks ago, and I'm sure that makes him the, uh, the oldest active uh, ATV in the country. So uh, great to see you again, John, and uh, happy birthday for two weeks ago. <laughs> and, and the figure to go in front of the naught is a nine, so what about that? Amazing. <laughs> Good. Um, Catering, there's tea and coffee all weekend at the back behind Frank and Phil there, so you, you're more than welcome to just help yourself. Uh, you've already discovered, well certainly Paul has, <laughs> that you have to buy, buy your own lunch in the canteen. Tonight we've covered that, um, <coughs> 7.30 we're saying, but I suggest you try and get there er earlier if you can and order as quickly as you can because uh, the service when we were there wasn't perhaps the fastest you've ever experienced. So. That wasn't a Saturday No, just, you know, so just enjoy the evening and, you know, chill out if it takes a little bit longer than perhaps you would expect. Um, it's informal and when you order, they're expecting everybody to pay their own bill. So uh, Mr. Summers is not picking up the tab at the end of the evening on behalf of BATC. Okay, so I've mentioned about using the mic for the Q&A. The actual programme itself, well, we're doing the welcome right now. Then we've got Mr. Mr. Portsdown coming on to give us an update on the latest and greatest. Then some on-the-air sessions with Clive talking a little bit about contests and activity days. Uh, and then myself and Brian G4EWJ are going to cover very quickly uh, 5.6 gigs, and Brian's going to talk about how they went about doing the, uh, some of the longer distance stuff. After a coffee break, during which the construction competition will be judged down in the other room, um, we've got uh, Sean, who's going to tell us about getting on to 71 megahertz and all the trials and tribulations of, of doing yet another new band. And we're going to close this afternoon with Bernie telling us about optical links. So we're going from 71 megahertz to how many terahertz? So it oh, <laughs> so, uh, should be an interesting day. And then on Sunday, um, 
We're going from the newest technology to some technology which has been around for a while. Brian is going to come and talk a little bit about the project he's got involved in, which is just as interesting in its own right, um, restoring MCR 21. <coughs> so uh, that should be really interesting. And then we hand the, more, the rest of the or some of the morning over to Graham, who's going to talk about a couple of um, spacey type things, as he does. Um, we're going to include, include the ISS, Ham TV, but also we're going to major on a sales set, and, um, or a sale two rather, as we should, that's slightly incorrect, and I shall get bolted for that later. Um, and uh, Graham's going to show you how to receive um, a sale. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and then we've got a remote session from Charles, G4GUO, talk, coming to talk about some of the future stuff that he's doing. And um, if you all recall, I mean, he, he was talking about the stuff that every one of us is now doing five years ago. So it's always interesting to see where things are going <coughs> and what people are working on a bit further out than perhaps the activity stuff that we're doing today. Got an hour for lunch and then uh, BGM in the afternoon. So that's, that's the program. The site closes at five o'clock, so after the session today, we'll need to make a relatively hasty exit. So um, I think they'll be fairly flexible, but we can't hang on till six or seven o'clock. So uh, there we go. <coughs>